Peeps, week one of advanced plumbing school. Let's go. Week one, day one of an eight week process. Officially walking into the school I haven't been in for two years. Exciting stuff, let's go. So peeps, I, I just got home from school. It's actually early right now. It's around 11 o'clock in the morning still. Usually the first day of classes is an orientation day. All you really do is you go there, you're introduced to the teacher, they explain to you what exactly the course of the next eight weeks will look like, and they also give you a couple of forms. The only thing that I noticed about this year in comparison to the years before is that there are two advanced classes going on at the same time. There were like 50 advanced plumbing students there today, so the class was just ginormous. They fit us all into one room. As of tomorrow, we're going to separate it into two different classes, class A and class B, which should make it a little bit better because you have more of an intimate environment with the classroom, with the teachers, and that way they can teach 25 students and be able to take on 25 different questions at a time sort of thing. So we stayed in class for about two hours, and once they got all the orientation stuff out of the way, they started handing out things that were review things. So for example, here's a sheet of drainage. We were supposed to name all the different aspects of the drains right here like a branch vent like a flood level rim, like a trap arm, etc. That was relatively simple. This wasn't too bad. It got a little bit more difficult when we started doing basic review, where it got really specific on things, asking questions like uh, name two types of individual dry vents, which are a back vent and a continuous waste and vent. We did a few charts and it was extensive. There was two or three pages of it. This is the sort of stuff I'm gonna have to sit down and actually review. Maximum hydraulic 
metallic load and fixture units of sizing wet vents, for example. Whenever you're doing a wet vent with a toilet, the minimum size wet vent with a water closet is two inch, for example. So a lot of different questions, things that I gotta remember and stuff like that. So it was a really nice start to the week. Nothing too complicated. Ended up getting a half day, which was also good. I'm gonna spend the rest of the afternoon trying to get my employment insurance all set up. Here in Ontario, the incentive to go back to trade school is that you're allowed to go on employment insurance, which means that the government will pay a portion of what your wages were prior to school. That way you do have money still rolling in and that way you can afford to go back to school even though you're not working. So I gotta get that all sorted out because if I don't, I'm not gonna get paid and then the money's gonna start coming out of the savings and whatnot. So that's the game plan as of today. And I'm gonna talk more about the rest of the week towards the end of the video so you guys enjoy all this work I was doing before plumbing school.
peeps, I'm here at home and I wanted to briefly talk to you about the first week, give you a little bit of a wrap up of how it went and the thoughts that I have going into the second week of school. As of Friday, we had our first official test and I gotta let you guys know it was not easy whatsoever. It was very thorough and I feel very blessed because what I ended up doing was taking Wednesday and Thursday and just hammering out a bunch of studying. There was a ton of wet venting. There was knowing the differences between the continuous vent, the branch vent, the vent stack, stack vent, header, and open air. It was knowing how to size all those things. It was also knowing the length of the trap arm, etc. So it was very, very thorough and I'm really glad that I allotted the time that I did to get that lodged in my mind because if I hadn't, I, I'm telling you right now, I wouldn't have done okay. Now, as of right now, I feel like I did all right. I'm not sure how well I did, but I feel like it was definitely a passing grade in other words. But the first week was a little bit difficult because I was sort of shooting in the dark in regards to knowing what I needed. The teachers had given us review the first couple of days and it was all sizing essentially. Now, I got comfortable with the sizing, but I also knew from years past, there's always always a lot of fill in the blank sort of questions and those questions aren't going to be all sizing. And I was absolutely right. There was a lot of those things that I was telling you about that if I hadn't studied, it would have been game over for me. So the first week was a little bit tough because I had to sit down and really decide uh, just from my gut what I thought was going to be a big portion of the questions that were going to be on the test. And I luckily chose to study a lot more wet venting than I normally would have. I did some circuit venting. I did all the branch vents. Uh, vent stack, stack vents, like I was telling you guys before, knowing the length of the trap arms. I spent a long duration of time just learning the charts. There were five different charts that I needed to know. 7,4,10,2, 7,4,10,7, 7,5,6,3, 7,5,7,1, 7,5,8,1. 1. All of those charts I had to memorize and know by heart because they weren't going to give them to you on the test. The more intricate charts they did pass over to us, but if you didn't have those original ones I just told you about lodged in here, you wouldn't be able to size them with the ones that they had given you on the test. So it was very thorough and a lot of people walked out going, man, that was really thorough. So I was really overwhelmed by the end of the first week because of this, because I knew that I didn't really know exactly what was going to be on the test. So I think that was an issue in and of itself, meaning that I don't think every week's gonna feel like this, but doesn't mean I don't have to work as hard these following weeks in order to make sure that I try to keep my mark as competitive as possible. So if you wanna hear more about this and more detailed and get more of a vibe off of me, I just did Chronicles of a Plumber 23, which is weekly plumbing podcast. Check it out, links are in the description below and at the end of the video. Check up right here, you could click on it and watch that because you get a whole 45 minutes of basically how the first week went. So peeps, thank you for being on this journey. Like, subscribe, comment below, and I'll see you guys very soon. Kenny Molotov, guys. Peace, baby.